Tonight on News for Jax at 11, more than 80 people are likely dead after a string of tornadoes that hit six states. You're looking at the damage done in Mayfield, Kentucky, where the city is under a curfew right now. Good evening. At least 30 tornadoes were reported overnight. Kentucky felt the brunt of it. And the footage that you're going to see in just a moment, homes and buildings destroyed. Cars had to drive slowly as they made their way around the city over fears they may hit fallen power lines. A look over Bowling Green, Kentucky shows a similar scene. You can see rows of trees and homes flattened. For many survivors, last night's scene is still playing in their minds. So we was, out, we was all out on this front porch, and uh, I remember seeing just a, every, all the power. I'll just the last thing I remember, the power just went, went out, the sky yeah. turned blue, and then I seen, I seen the, uh, seen the funnel cloud over that way. I ran inside. Uh, I told my other buddy he's in bed, and he's out here trying to finish his cigarette. Yeah. He barely made it back inside. Crews are digging through the damage at a candle factory that was destroyed by the storms. The city is calling the site Priority One. More than 110 workers were inside the building when a tornado hit. At last word, 40 people are still unaccounted for. There's at least 15 feet of metal with cars on top of it. Barrels of corrosive chemicals that are there. It'll be a miracle if anybody else is found uh, alive in it. President Biden says all of the states hit by the storms will get federal help. Texas has already agreed to send search and rescue crews to Kentucky as requested by FEMA. Jacksonville Mayor Lenny Curry also showed his support on Twitter today, said, quote, as the death toll continues to rise in Kentucky, myself, along with the entire city of Jacksonville, send our prayers to all who have been impacted. As Floridians, we are all too familiar with the deadly weather and will continue to keep you in our hearts. Now some people in the states that were hit by the tornadoes, they have said that they did not get a warning at all. News for Jack's reporter Marilyn Parker joins us live in the studio tonight. Marilyn, you spoke with the National Weather Service here in Jacksonville and they talked about this process. They did and it's a matter of not everyone may have got it, but someone did. They say that there is a lot of information that still has to get out about this storm. It's been a very, very challenging and new information is still coming out and I'm told they look at several clues in the atmosphere. The potential for these storms were seen days in advance, though some say communication has to improve on the weather services end. The damage is extensive. The main cause of it was a, a cold front, it was a very strong cold front uh, where they had an abundant moisture in place, a lot of instability a lot of lift associated with it as well. The National Weather Service Jacksonville meteorologists say the storm had all the ingredients it needed to leave miles of destruction. Days before the storm, Cordero says warnings went out from the National Weather Service chat to local news and city emergency managers. Following the storms, a tweet from a meteorologist in Missouri says, please get NWS chat the funding it needs to fix stability issues. It's failing right now with multiple tornado warnings across the country. It's a known issue. There has been some issues with latency associated with that uh, program as well. And, but there are, there are measures that are moving forward to to bolster that program. Cordero has witnessed these problems before. He says the highest latency is during large scale events taxing on the server. A Jacksonville woman in Tennessee says she didn't have severe weather alerts before Friday and says she didn't think to check. I had a couple of friends reach out to me telling me that there was going to be bad weather. Cordero time, we, says we the information got out there. The storm track from NWS says it lasts 11 hours and traveled 600 miles. Right now, they say more than one tornado was produced, but they don't have an exact number. They also don't know its intensity, width, or total damage. The death and injury toll continues to rise. The National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration will propose the NWS get a $7 billion budget in 2022. Janice. 
Thank you, Marilyn. And you can learn more about why this storm and this type of storm specifically is so rare for this time of year on newsforjax.com. Also get a closer look at the cleanup efforts underway by checking out the gallery we have embedded inside this story on our website.